A number of frontline workers have battled COVID-19. Tonight, the General Assembly is close to passing a bill to let certain first responders apply for workers' compensation benefits if they got COVID-19 on the job. But the big unknown is when that coverage would start. The House wants to cover people back to March 2020, while the state Senate has a less generous plan. How do first responders feel about this? Well, they're not happy. Here's Allison Bass. First responders didn't wait out the pandemic. Our firefighters and paramedics were still going out responding to calls. Hampton Roads Virginia Professional Firefighters Vice President Kurt Dietrich says the sacrifice has cost members time and money. We've had members isolated and quarantined for weeks, uh, and we've had members that have been hospitalized. He says it's difficult for staff to prove they got COVID on the job. They're not being accepted throughout the state on a wide level. But lawmakers want to change that. Norfolk Delegate Jay Jones sponsored a bill to add COVID-19 to work related diseases under Virginia's workers' comp code. We just want to give people who we believe to be the heroes of this pandemic the relief that they deserve. He's pushing for retroactive coverage between March 12th, 2020 and December 31st, 2021. It would cover everything from lost wages to medical bills or funeral expenses. A similar Senate bill sponsored by Senator Richard Saslaw would begin coverage on July 1st, 2021. That doesn't work for Delegate Jones. The most critical period of time started in March of 2020. We don't want to, to sort of leave those folks out to dry. Senator Saslaw's office told us he wasn't available to talk today. Both bills cover firefighters, EMS, law enforcement, and corrections officers. Healthcare workers are covered in a separate bill. The Associated Press says it would cost about $3 million to implement the Senate's bill and significantly more for the House bill. But Delegate Jones says not everyone would qualify. They've got to prove it just like everybody else. They would need proof of a positive test and treatment for COVID symptoms. Dietrich hopes the final bill doesn't disappoint. Heroes, essential workers, we hear that all the time. It's starting to fall on deaf ears unless they back it up and, and really prove it. Delegate Jones says the Senate and House should come to a compromise in the next few days. In Virginia Beach, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.